We all like to have a degree of certainty in our life, don't we? Very rarely do we leap into the unknown and think to ourselves, whatever will happen will happen, whatever will be will be, and we just float on with life and see what comes about. Uh, because very naturally we're inclined to always want to know what's going to happen next and it puts us into a state of anticipation and that horrible word that I really don't like, expectation. We have this expectation of how our life should look, how it should be, how it should be turning out and how it should be in five years from now and that's great you know because we do need to have a plan but continuously, continuously, we're giving our power away to external forces, aren't we? Uh, if this happens, then this will fall into place. If I get that job, then that will give me the finances to buy that house that I want. And if this happens, then I'll have a really good relationship. And if that happens, then, you know, I need to slightly adjust and go this way. And to an extent, of course, it's all really good stuff but we continuously give our power away to what we think should happen what we should th what we think should come about in our life but guys honestly when we actually just for a while sit back and just delve into the unknown and move out of our comfort zone it really can be really uh, quite amazing what certain things you know come in when we're not forcing and pushing and continuously guiding our life continuously so just for a while my advice is to sit in the unknown and not know what's going to happen next not know what's going to happen tomorrow make a bit of a plan have some intentions for the day ahead but then let them go. Don't force, don't push, you know, simply allow. And by doing that, we're stepping out of our comfort zone and get ready because the ego will come in and say, come on, what are you doing? You've got to make this happen. You've got to force it. You've got to push. You've got to keep pushing uphill. Life is hard. This is what it's all about. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can just set our intentions and then let them go surrender to what will happen so trust in what you know already trust in what you have already and trust in the planning that you've done but don't push don't force step out there and see what happens and you know it's always good to take a few long slow deep breaths look around us get into that present moment and be incredibly grateful for what we have right here, right now.